Hello ladies and gentlemen, happy Monday and happy new year. Today is January 4th, 2016, and welcome to the Game Ranks Friday Untitled News Show. We're giving you an episode on Monday because last week we did a Game of the Year Awards video, which some of you liked, thanks for watching. The first thing we have to talk about this week is something I never thought I'd say on camera, a mall in China. Yes, this super huge shopping mall called Joy City in Chengdu, China, has this huge Warcraft setup for the new movie. First of all, outside the mall, they have this huge, ridiculous logo with a doom hammer and and it's absolutely insane. And then the inside of the mall has a whole bunch of displays with really cool alliance armor used in the actual movie, a bunch of props, and a cool orc war tent. And I'm really jealous because I'm still really excited about this Warcraft movie. I'm a little skeptical, but it just looks awesome. And I really wish malls in the United States did stuff like this. Come on. And speaking of awesome, since I always like to just find and show cool shit that I find on the internet and video games, check out this amazing GTA 5 motorcycle jump. This is via Lionhearth21 on Reddit. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy what people can do. And speaking of of crazy things that people can do, and I'm really on my Segway game today, hackers have managed to install Linux on a PS4. This is absolutely crazy, and the way they did it, they actually installed it on an older version of PS4 firmware, because it's been since updated to where you can't do this, but they found a bug exploit in the browser that lets you make it Linux or whatever. I don't totally know the advantages of this other than that you people have said that you can use it as like you can put Steam on it or you can use it as a file server or an online server client or something like that. So that's cool, I guess. I really just think it's more of a hobby thing. But I just really get a kick out of people putting things in things that don't belong. And since we're talking about people installing things and putting weird things on other things that don't totally belong, somebody put Windows 95 on a Nintendo 3DS. I mean, I guess it was kind of a good idea because Windows 95 was a rock solid operating system, but what is this really for? I mean, whatever, I mean, it can kind of be used for emulation, but not really because it's Windows 95. I think more this is just an accomplishment, just doing it for the sake of can it be done. And I guess that's pretty cool. When I was younger, I put Doom on my black and white iPod like old classic iPod. I didn't need to, it was stupid, it was unplayable, but I did it. Have you guys ever done anything weird like that? Let's talk about it. And in VR news, it looks like Oculus has just announced that pre-orders for the official retail version of the Oculus Rift is going live this Wednesday, January 6th. They still haven't announced the price or anything, but we can pre-order them on Wednesday, so that's cool. It comes out the first quarter of 2016, so, pre-orders will probably be followed up pretty quickly by the actual things shipping. That being said, Oculus has also announced that they have delayed the touch aspect, those you know controller peripherals, till the second half of 2016. So if you wanna start touching and feeling things in games, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Am I gonna pre-order one? I don't know. I think it's the same thing with you guys. It really comes down to just how expensive is this thing gonna be? And over the holiday break, we had this son of a bitch beat Fallout 4 without killing anyone, which is a huge feat because Fallout 4, unlike the previous Fallout games, has a lot of combat and a lot of killing everyone, so this is a really difficult task. Yes, Kyle Hinckley has achieved this, what seemed like the impossible, and thankfully he recorded it all on video, and he actually apparently almost broke the game in the process. But he did it, it can be done, sort of. Since he did capture it all on video, it's proof. We linked it down below, as well as everything else I talk about today. And then meanwhile, while there was also some other guy in the news who beat Fallout 3 in 13 minutes. Why? But in some news I am really, honestly, probably way too excited about, check out Crash Bandicoot running in Unreal Engine 4. This was posted by the YouTube Uber Anisotropic and he has designed a basic crash level where he's running around in 1080p, 60 frames per second. You know, it looks a little choppy and the graphics aren't actually totally amazing, but just seeing Crash running 60 frames per second in a modern type of thing, just, ah, it looks so good, I need it. Crash, what happened to you? What happened? This is what I wanna see though. I wanna see Crash in his regular state standard platforming fare just in a newer coat of paint. I don't need all this other gimmick bullshit that Activision tried to shoehorn in. Is it ever gonna happen? I don't know, probably not. What happened? Sony at PlayStation Experience, one of the guys on stage was wearing a Crash Bandicoot shirt and we all thought a million different things and nothing has happened. Please bring back Crash, just please. And last but not least, we just checked Twitter and it seems like Infinity Ward is tweeting out what seems to be teases for a game that looks like Call of Duty Ghosts 2. I wasn't crazy about Ghosts, the single player was fine, but is this a big deal? Are you guys excited about this? Let's talk. And speaking of talking, if you guys missed it, last this week I posted my review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. If you guys know I'm crazy obsessed about Star Wars and I posted that video on my own channel, you can click it and check it out. But last but not least, every week we do a giveaway where we choose one of you fine folks who click the link below and sign up for our mailing list, give us your name, your email address, and then we pick a random winner to win a free game of your choice. And this week's winner is 
Jacob Bazzi. Congratulations, you won a free game. Nice going. For those of you that don't know, if you have entered our list, you're on the list for as long as we do this giveaway. Every week we're gonna pick someone, so you might as well get on the list, get a chance to win a free game. Find out the winner right here. But guys, we have a lot to talk about in the comments. Have you ever modded a console with some weird thing that doesn't make sense? Are you looking forward to the World of Warcraft movie like I kinda am? And how far have you gotten in Fallout 4 without killing anyone? Try and let us know. But of course, guys, if you do wanna talk to me, we can talk in the comments below. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, even Snapchat, that's all the kids are doing now. Follow me there, you can yell at me if you want, whatever. But as always guys, liking this video helps us out so much. It helps me out, it helps this show. We, we need likes, we feed on likes. And subscribing if you're new is a good idea because we put out videos every single day. Yes, every single day. But as always, thanks for watching guys. I'm Jake Baldino and I'll see you guys next time. Pizza's on me. New year, new me, 2016, new pizza. What, what am I even saying anymore? New year, new me. New year, new me. Go fuck yourself, Tom.